Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. <clears throat> We're playing with Jane's Doodles. This was a birthday present from Kaya, so I am making a video just for her and her birthday card. Luckily, I had just ordered some fantastic birthday card supplies from Butterfly Reflections Inc. <clears throat> so this was not planned. I'm a terrible friend. I don't always remember to send cards out. I need to get better at that in 2018, but <clears throat> here we go. So I am stamping some images from the Party Time stamp set by Jane's Doodles in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink on 110 pound Nina cardstock. My family is about to come down the stairs this morning, so you guys might get a nice little <clears throat> interruption. Anyway. Where mas I decided to mask my wonky cake. I love this stamp set. It is adorable and I have been dying to play with this. So I'm masking it just so I can, just the top, so I can put the candle in the cake. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the Avery repositionable label sheets. They're fantastic for so many different masking techniques. Um, so this one is just super simple. I just want <clears throat> to stamp this cute little candle on top of my cake for Kaya. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Hopefully this won't take a gazillion years to get to her, but at least she gets to see her beautiful card up on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm using my Misty and I'm taking out the mouse pad insert that I have for it and I'm stamping on Nina 110 with this MFT balloon strings background stamp um, <clears throat> so I just kind of secure it into the bottom corner I line up my stamp to make sure that it's going to uh, cover the card base I'm using Simon Says Stamp Fog uh, ink for the balloon strings and it's a very light ink and that that's what I wanted but so it's hard to show up on camera so um, I don't know I stamped it only one time because I used my new tool in one by Spellbinders to like put some pressure on this uh, background stamp and it was awesome I love using this like that so you know hey new tool um, so this, you can kind of see the balloon strings in the background. Everything's getting cut down, of course. So I'm using this, uh, I think it's Doe Crafts, um, embossing folder. I think it's called Confetti Mix. Um, it's literally, uh, triangles, stars, uh, sh different shapes of confetti. And I'm using the second to largest, uh, or the second to largest Your Next Stamp stitched rectangle die and the Mama Elephant Femme Frames die are like exactly the same. So it's one of those. And I'm using the, um, let's see, that's Avery L. So you can't buy that anymore, but I'm a hoarder. And some Limeade Ice by Paper Tray Ink and some Berry Sorbet by Paper Tray Ink to, to make my balloons. I am going to have a Copic color map on my blog for you to pin, download, look at, write down, whatever you want to do for these colors. But it was super simple. Um, for the cake, I used like the E31, uh, E31 and 33, just two colors. I didn't want my cake to look burnt. <clears throat> it was either going to look burnt or look like chocolate. So <laughs> I, um, then I used the purples V... Uh, 12, 15, and 17. And then for the green, it was YG01. <laughs> Not sure. Go look at my blog, YG23 and YG17. And then this light red corally color is uh, R21, 22, and 24. And then for the candle, I just used some uh, warm grays. And for the flame, I think it was YR12. So I'm using some Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock, some Versamark ink, and Hero Arts Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder to emboss the Happy Birthday sentiment. 
and <clears throat> I hope, really hope you have a fabulous birthday, Kaya. And after this gets heat embossed, I'll explain how I kind of put all the, the card together. This was very early in the morning. Okay, I couldn't sleep. So I got up, not planned at all, to make Kaya a birthday card. And um, so I was trying to be quiet too, which, you know, because I didn't want to wake anyone up. But <laughs> this piece has a piece of uh, craft foam attached to the back with half inch score tape. And I'm trying to line it up straight. <laughs> Again, it's like six o'clock in the morning. Um, then I adhered some of the balloons and I'm cutting off the excess because I don't want them to overlap. I want them to just be on this um, smaller rectangle. So I'm trimming them off and I'm popping up the Berry Sorbet balloon with um, Scotch 3M foam tape. Everything that's popped up on the front panel is with foam tape. So <clears throat> it has a little bit of dimension. The balloon strings are in the background and then the foreground has the balloons. And I think that the balloon colors match the colors I used for the Copics pretty well. I'm patting myself on the back. So I, um, <clears throat> I took some time to um, put these together, but I think I put the foam tape on the wrong side of this Berry Sorbet balloon. Don't look too close at the photos, okay? That's what I did. <laughs> so I'm cutting off this excess piece. Here they come. They're coming. Maybe we'll make it to the end of the video, but probably not. So I'm trying to use my um, T ruler to just get it straight. <laughs> just trying to get things straight. And then I want, I wasn't sure if I wanted this strip to go all the way across the card or across the front like which area I wanted it to go across. So finally I ended up deciding that I wanted to trim it down. I didn't want it to go completely across the whole card. And I'm doing my best to cut it straight. I think I did. Again, don't look too car too hard at uh, the photos. <laughs> And then we popped our cake image. I love this set. This is so cute. Um, I, thank you so much, Kaya, for sending it to me for my birthday. And I'm, it's terrible that I haven't had time to play with it, but what today is just as good, right? <laughs> so this card is, uh, is off to Kaya in Slovenia, and I hope she has a wonderful birthday. Can we say happy birthday, Kaya? Ready? One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Kaya! Kaya. Wow. Boop. What a grumpy boy. Do you need to go back to bed? Are you sure? Can you say happy birthday?